So, hi everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and I'm here for the second part of card making with some stuff that Karen sent me. This just happened to, to lie on my desk like that, and I'm actually liking the two on top of one another. So I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to be doing with this. So let's, uh, so the goal is to, if you didn't uh, watch the previous episode, Karen sent me a bunch of beautiful little things, and I'm trying to use some up, because I tend to just keep and not use, and I'm trying to not do this now. So I'm trying to use, as I go, items, and I figured those would make really cute cards. So that is the goal. So the last time around, this is what I did. And I'm actually wondering this time, they do have some purple. So this, and I wonder if I do that. Like this, or actually I could put it that way. It would fit better. Duh, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so this way it fits. And I can actually Use just one piece of cardstock, not even have to cut it. These are scraps that I purchased um, at AC Moore's. They, they usually have packs of scraps like this. And I just find that they're very convenient when uh, you're making cards like this. So I like getting their, their paper scraps. That's why I don't have to do anything to the um, the cardstock a lot of the times it's already pre-cut so very convenient as I said uh, so I think it's the yeah so the white one first And I still didn't pull out my Zyron, so I could have, but I didn't. Need the little excess blue. It's very light, so it doesn't take all that much glue to stick it, but there has to be some sort. Of glue. So here we go, first card done. So I've used the die cuts. I still have one left. Where is it? Here it is. I wonder if I could put it. That would be pretty.
this down. Last time I kept the scraps because they were bigger. This time it's only little strips. So I don't think I'll keep these. Nah. Ah. Uh, I I just can't throw anything away. I'm actually wondering if I should just put the two strips like that and the die cut like this. I like the simple design. Actually, that's what's gonna happen. This was not the card I had intended, but sometimes stuff just happens. Like I said, my Zyron would have done a really good job, but this also did pretty good. So, I think I'm going to edge it just to finish it off a little bit better. So I feel that it's missing just a little something. And this would make a great journaling spot if you tuck this in a journal. Or you could use it as a card to send a little note to somebody to say hello, thinking of you. So fast little cards. Okay, so I had this, that's where I was going with this before. And that. Uh, Flowers, which I thought could be pretty. Well, it's more purplish than, than pink, but no, I don't know. Actually, kind of pink. I glue it down and I regret not doing it.
this. Here we go. I like that one a lot. Okay, and then uh, this beautiful paper. This is a more of a square card. a tree so probably that way something delicate. I'm obsessed with the aged mahogany as you can see. Little bit of water. Okay, so here we go. I think it's pretty. They're very pretty. They're very simple, but pretty at the same time. So this in two. That's a little flower. 
Just an added little touch, and because it's lying on my desk, and I don't feel like throwing it out, and it's gonna make the little flower pop a little bit more. See? So, where did my bling go? stayed on the sheet there we go so here's another cute little card and let's set use up that last little piece of scrap this and these little cards I usually either include them in my orders uh, the Etsy orders that I make um, I'll send a little thank you or I can use it in uh, journals so there's there's use for it even though it's tiny and it would make a really cute gift tag as well if you wanted like you could make a hole at the top here and put a a little uh, string and add it to a package and you've got something that you've made which is more personalized than just typical store bought and here we go so I've used that whole piece of paper so I've got three left and I'm almost out of this uh, the bigger cardboard so that's a good thing though Le plan. Le plan is sur ta chaise. Okay. That's my uh, husband is working on the uh, in the kitchen and uh, we have to take a break and be back. Let's see you soon. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I forgot to remove the timer so I have no idea how much time I had spent already and I don't know how long I was let I was gone so now I've stopped it there's three minutes left on it let's do two cards and then I'll start the timer again so that and then basically actually let's just start the timer because I wanted to finish and we'll just finish off the papers that I had to work with 
and call that a day after. This I have these flowers as well. I think it's the paper's too large. It's covering too much of the other one. I this. I'm telling you, I I don't know where these come from, but I've like I must have thought like there was not going to be any flowers left in the world because I had quite a collection, and I'm slowly, slowly, slowly uh, using them. But I mean, I'm telling you guys, I had so many. It's not even funny. I don't understand like what I was thinking, how I could think that. I was going to go through all those flowers and obviously I didn't but now I'm going through slowly slowly emptying out one little vase one little bottle at a time and uh, hopefully use it all up You guys do that, I mean, provision like little squirrels. <laughs> like, you, you, there's no, you're going to be out of whatever product forever afterwards. That's what I feel like I do sometimes. Especially with stuff like that. They must have been on special or something. I don't know. I don't remember. But I've had them for years and years and years. So it's about time that I do something with them. So thank you, Karen, for doing this so that I actually use it up. Okay, so got two more pieces. Okay, so that's that. try to start with the straight edge and I didn't this time so I have to cut down more Just a tiny strip in the middle. Let's try that out. I hate wasting even book paper. So I only have one pink left. Uh, yeah, one big and one small.
So maybe I can use the two pink. I think I'm going to be putting them all in one bottle. I will feel like I've accomplished more <laughs> through this. I know it's silly, um, but if if I use if I tr put them all together, then it feels like I've emptied something. They're simple, but okay, like I said, they're effective, I think. And it doesn't have to be super complicated cards all the time. So. We do these two at the same time. So because there's a the paper does have a because you see the little boat so you can't really put it just any which way it has to kind of go in the proper way. This one I can do that. So do that. Put this here and this on top.
sorry if I'm being quiet. So here we go. And I think these I'm just going to keep for uh, to make some tags or something. same little container and yay I've got less flowers Woohoo! so yeah it was $3.99 on special half price so I guess that's why I stocked up but oh, never again I'm just hoping that once I'm finished with these I don't find more all over the place. I do have another little bottle and I think after that it's over. Oh that's not true because I do have some glass bottles. Uh, I used to use up a lot more flowers than I do now so that's what happens. sticky so like that I'm just gonna I won't take the chance just put some tape underneath and uh, here we go so that's my those are my cards and I've used up all the papers that have been gifted well not all I have more but the other ones are more um, travel oriented and I'm thinking I'm going to use them more for um, uh, journals if I go somewhere so quite productive session I believe different styles but I like them so I'm hoping that you're gonna have liked it as well and it's gonna give you some ideas of uh, simple cards to make and that is it for now bye everyone